All right, welcome back. This is uh, stack one uh, exploit. So I apologize in the last video, I had some uh, background noise. That was actually me recording from my laptop, so it's not that, not the best of audio quality there. Uh, now I'm using a, a headset, so it should be a little bit better. So in this one, we're gonna look at stack one, the second one in the uh, stack series. Let's take a look at the page first. About. This level looks at the concept of modifying variables to specific values in the program and how the variables are laid out in memory. Okay, and we are already here. Um, and for this one, they gave us a few hints, which we'll look at uh, in a little bit. So, uh, source code first. Uh, we have, again, we have modified and buffer. We have, this time we have an if statement here that checks argc. Now, we know that main has a argument called argc, um, which basically counts the arguments uh, that, is, that are, is used in the number of arguments that uh, is used uh, in this program, or in the call to main. So uh, in this case, we have to basically have at least uh, one argument other than just the program name. So we have to make sure that we have some, something uh, beyond that. Uh, and then we, again, modify to set to zero here. And then there's a string copy of argv1 to buffer. Now argv1, argv is a, um, an array, as you can see here, basically containing the um, arguments past the main. So it, take, it co basically copies our first value into buffer. Again, string copy is one of those dangerous functions that I was talking about because it has no uh, link checking. And in this case, uh, we can, again, overflow a buffer. And it, now we're trying to make modified equal to this specific value, 6162.6364, um, in which case we win, otherwise we lose. Uh, and we also get an error message here. Okay, so to attack this one, let's first just run it um, with just a general input and we get we get an error we get you got zero um, again notice how i put the argument this time after the program name because this is a uh, argument past the main um okay so let's try the buffer overflow from the previous uh stack uh or buffer overflow problem stack zero and see what happens so to do this we have to be able to write to a file so Let's go change directory to the temp folder here and create, um, use Python to create a file. Uh, print a times, so remember our previous one was a times 68. We're gonna put that into a file called exp. So if we can exp, we should see, yeah, exactly. 68 capital A's. Now let's um, go back to the folder that we were at. Okay, and then let's run stack one with uh, with the contents of this exploit uh, file here and see what happens. Ooh, try again. You got hex 41414141. So keep in mind, this is our A's, and since, remember, we wrote uh, 68, we get four of these. So that's, that's to be expected. Now, let's try to do something else here. Um, let's go ahead and try to get the target value of modified. So modified has to be 61626364. So how do we write that? Well, we obviously need 64 A's to fill up the buffer. Then the overflow has to be exactly those byte values. Now it's good to look at the hints. So protostar is little Indian. So what does this mean? Well, if we follow the link, it will... Uh, hopefully take us to a page where we can learn about this. But um, in short, Indian is basically how multi-byte values are arranged in memory. Um, so there's two main classes of it, uh, little and uh, big Indian, I believe. And um, for little Indian, the small, the least significant um, byte is written first. In the beginning, it's the opposite way around. So, in other words, we have, uh, if we were to write, for example, 
O-A-O-B-O-C-O-D, we would put O-D at the lowest address and O-A at the highest address. Which, uh, this brings us to the next problem now of how to write this into our uh, buffer overflow. So, remember, in Middle Indian, least significant is, is written at the lowest position, in other words, first in the buffer. So we have to do 64, then 63, then 62, then 61. That's how we'll have to do this. So uh, now let's go modify our exploit. So let's change back into temp. And we'll run another one, Python. Uh, C print. Actually, let's do this. Print A, remember this time. 64 to overflow or to fill up the buffer and then the 64 63 62 61 has to be written in opposite in the opposite direction so we can do this this is to signify the bytes that we want however if you know ascii you'll notice that 61 62 63 64 are synonymous with lowercase a lowercase b lowercase c lowercase d so we can just do something like this then we'll put that into our exploit. And let's look at what it looks like. And that is exactly what we want. So now let's change back into this, run stack one. With whatever we got with that. And we have correctly gotten um, the variable to the right value and we have beat the level. So you see in this one, we did not uh, at all look at the disassembly. And the reason for this is because we had an intuition built up from the previous level about how we were going to overflow the buffer. Um, in this one, though, we have to we had to look at the specific values that we had to add to the end um, instead of just modifying, just adding random uh, additional A's. We had to add specifically lowercase d, lowercase c, lowercase b, lowercase a, in that order to produce uh, the correct uh, modified variable. And in this way, we have the level, and I'll see you in the next exploit uh, stack 2.